Hi, Sally Lawrence here, founder of Advantage Real Estate. Today we're going to be talking about the buyer representation agreement. And the first section of these videos will be about what's included in the buyer representation agreement and what's important about having one. So the title is fairly obvious. This is to ensure that you as a buyer are adequately represented. Many times, a buyer making the phone call to a real estate agent believes that that agent is actually representing them, when in reality, without a written contract, they do not have the strongest possible representation. So that written contract is called a buyer representation agreement, and it comprises a number of different documents, several that make up the agreement itself, and the way that we do it at Advantage Real Estate is also to include many of the documents that you would be seeing perhaps for the first time when you're ready to write an offer on the property of your choice. We believe in education and in making sure that you have as much information at the front end to make sure that you can make the best decisions on the property that you're looking to buy. So, in a buyer representation agreement package, we will have disclosures regarding agency relationship. We'll have a disclosure regarding the possible representation of more than one buyer or seller. And we have separate videos in the series on both of these documents. Then we have the buyer representation agreement itself. And again, look for a separate video on that. We always include addendum number one, which is our easy exit guarantee. We provide an easy exit guarantee to all of our clients in every transaction. In addition, a not required document, but one that most people would want to have included is the market conditions advisory, the statewide buyer and seller advisory. Both of these contain a lot of good information that most buyers don't even see until maybe the time they're writing the offer, and depending on the agent that they're working with, they may not even see them then. Um, in addition, we may include an authorization to receive and convey information if we need to be able to be in contact with uh, people who handle your financial information. Uh, we'll have a receipt for reports, and then some of the reports that we include right up front include environmental hazards, protecting your family from lead in your home. For any home that was manufactured before 1978, then uh, there is the possibility that lead may exist in that home. The home energy rating pamphlet so you can figure out how to best have a efficient home uh, energy wise. Uh, homeowner's guide to earthquake safety here in California that can be kind of a big deal. And then the earthquake hazard safety uh, report which is something that you will get in uh, a home that was manufactured before 1960. And finally the consumer guide to disclosure requirements. All of these documents together make up your buyer representation package. Let's dive a little bit deeper into each of the separate documents. Thanks for watching.